Hello, this is Lynn Allen and welcome to yet another Tip and Tricks Tuesday. Thank you for joining me uh, today. I'm going to share with you a, a tip. It's been a, in the program for a long time. It's been in many releases called tracking. I just find that so few people actually know about it. It's so, so powerful. I'm going to start off with a very simple example. I want to draw a circle that's two units over and two units down from that corner. How would you do it? Some of us would draw a construction line. There's a variety of ways of doing it, but tracking will make it super, super easy and you don't have to create any construction lines. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go in the circle command and I'm going to turn on tracking by doing a TK for tracking. You can also get that from the right click menu also as well because it's, it's kind of listed up there with one of those object snaps even though it's not really an object snap. A first tracking point, I'm going to pick right up here on the corner. Now I'm going to use my direct distance, I'm going to move my cursor over to the right and I'm going to type in a 2 and then I'm going to say I want to go down. Once again I'm just using direct distance, I want to go down 2 and I'm at the proper location. I'm at 2 over and 2 down so I'm actually finished with tracking so you'll see it says at the command line press enter to end tracking. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit an enter and here we go. There's my circle. Easy enough. You can do this when you're inserting blocks. You can reference anything. You could type in coordinates instead of using direct distance if you need to go to a specific angle. But it's very, very powerful. Now let me show you another example where tracking comes into play. Here I have a line that's dimensioned it's 10 units long. It turns out that I need to change the length of the line and the dimension. I really want it to be 12 units. So how am I going to go about doing that? Well, let me show you how easy this is. We're going to use tracking once again. I'm just going to use grips to do this. This is going to be super fast, super easy. And I'm going to make a hot grip down here in the right hand corner because I really want to be tracking. I want to make it longer over to the right. And I'm going to type in that famous TK again. We're going to do TK for tracking. So the first tracking point, I want to go 12 units over from this base point over here, right? So I'm going to use that as my tracking point. I'm going to move my cursor over to the right all the way over and I'm going to type in a 12. Now watch what happens. Hit an enter to end tracking, right? I'm finished. You will see, you take a look at this, that it took my dimension and my line and moved it over and now it's exactly 12 units in length. So if you ever have a dimension that's one size, you need to change it to another, I want you to think about tracking. It's very, very powerful and super easy to use just as you saw. So TK for tracking. Once again, it's also from the right click O snap menu. Anyway, hope you're having a great day at work or everybody's being nice to you. Thank you for taking time out of your really busy day to join me and I will chat back with you in a couple of weeks. Take care.